Don't forget to press the subscribe button and click the bell icon to stay up to date with all our videos. Hey everyone, so welcome back to Nanta Education and in this video what we are going to do is we will develop the theme thing here. So select a theme from this point and also display the theme based on our selection. So if I select this, show this. If I select this, show this. Okay, so first of all what I'm going to do is I'm going to remove the thing which I did right now. So okay from the index I have removed it even from the customization All right, looks good I think okay just a second it's almost done okay so from the end design we will be selecting the drop down so this basic drop down this is all we need when I hover on it and if I select theme 1 show me theme 1 if I hover on it select theme 2 show me the content of theme 2 theme 2 okay so for that reason I'm going I think I have already selected and copied and pasted the code so you can find the code from by, uh, by clicking on this show code and you will have these imports menu drop down down outlined and this is a menu where you will be provided with first menu item second menu item and third menu item instead of this we will have our own custom name so theme 1 theme 2 theme 3 and this will be our drop down block so this will be the basically a drop down okay so let me go back to the code and this is going to be our drop down it has a style as well it is uh, not supposed to be hover me it's supposed to have select theme okay and in this select theme I'll have a menu as well so this menu is going to if I click on the menu item it is supposed to set the theme so we already have the state selected theme and set selected theme the default value will be zero if you have zero show nothing from that particular uh, from any themes if it's one show the theme one two three and go, so on okay so now I'm going to show you how to display these themes based on the selection okay so first of all I'm going to tell you that I'll just show you for one theme the rest of them we will have to I'll copy and paste because I don't want to waste your time in in like HTML and CSS front-end stuff okay so first of all let me just go ahead and first of all let's do this thing let's show or display which theme has been selected selected theme so if I go to my oh, okay so another issue you might see here is that you, uh, these are not aligned right so for that reason you need to import the I have done it in a lot of videos before but you need to import the CSS file of end design like manually I don't know why they're gonna fix it but I don't know when they're gonna fix it but yes let's go ahead and import and design and make sure it's before the style CSS because this should overwrite this styles so for that reason the style CSS comes after the any like bootstrap or whatever uh, CSS library you are using so you want to do that okay let me refresh it so at least we can see some changes so here is a change default value is 0 if I select 1 it's supposed to be 1 and if it's 1 it is going to show the theme as well 2 3 4 and like that okay so let me for the uh, theme 1 I'll show you how I'm going to style it so t-shirt order reducer we don't need this not even t-shirt right now context orders testing nope okay customization will be okay and here I'm going to have a, 
uh, component name team one and yeah I'll just name it team one and I will create a component const team one so what this you can even make another file for team one saying that okay this is the thing but I, I will create another file but right now just bear with me and this is going to be the theme one <laughs> okay so return do do okay and uh, I'll even do one thing I'll just copy and paste the thing and I'll explain you what exactly this is and the rest I'll do it in the background okay so the CSS file you can see already in the code but let me see which things we haven't imported yet okay input we have it then select so this is a drop down in which you select the color and when you select the color you change the theme of it and yep this is looking good at this point I cannot say anything is missing maybe the radio so radio I need to import it so if there's any error I, I'll take care of it okay let's it should refresh on its own okay it's rebuilding so what is the error change theme is not defined option is not defined okay because change theme we don't have it yet so I'll just call cons change theme equals to and a function which does nothing and option is going to be I guess it's radio or selecting okay so select select and for option I'll need to have option equals it, it comes with select so now most probably this thing should go away because okay so see this if it's zero it's going to display every time so for this this thing you just need to see this that the first one is the uh, basic input for the top text and top text will be something on top of it bottom text like the text on the bottom of this particular t-shirt so if i can show you I don't want to open that thing right now but yeah you can make sense from this and size this this won't matter on the UI but this will be just an additional information which you will be passing on okay this will be the background so if I select blue the circle color will be blue if I select red the circle color will be red and now let's go ahead and have this react but before that let's let's just complete this theme thing so how do we need to do next is that I need to get the theme one style from this particular like this particular component so anytime something changes in this uh, particular component I want to update it into theme one style so for that reason what I need to do is I need to have a constant listener on this particular theme component so let's do this theme one style okay let me I have done this project like a month ago and I forgot what I did <laughs> so please bear with me on this one yeah because it took me a while to get it done because I was having a bunch of things to take care of but yep yep I'm getting there okay so I'll do one thing I'll create a new file for this theme theme1.js and then theme1.js I'll have a react functional component hopefully this should auto import thank you alright so and in this one I'll just use the whole return or just a do all right
it and that's it for the UI now I need to go and create the function which is the change theme function so this is going to what is it going to do is let me copy and paste the one which I wrote and I'll explain it to you so this theme it takes in a key and a value and it just take the existing theme and add a new theme and style to it so whatever changes are happening at this point because we will be having the custom style in our props so we will this thing will be coordinating back and forth with the prop so first thing will be custom style and the set style so these two functions these this will tell the component that this is the file this is the style that you already have selected like current style and this is the set style is going to be a callback function which is going to tell the parent that this is the new style or new input that we want so if, if this thing does, doesn't make sense let me know so I'll just let you know again that custom style is equal to the existing style in parent and set style is equal to what new changes change we need to do in the parent okay so we will be having the custom style we take in the take the value of the custom style we put it as a new style and then we do as we assign or join it and send it back and say it that this is going to be the new style so whenever we come we get back another style in the custom style it will be this particular style so the last updated style will be our custom style so if this thing doesn't make sense let me know in the comment section below uh, if I'm not able to explain you properly I'm sorry about that I've done it like uh, maybe two weeks ago and yeah sorry I forgot that but yeah this is what it is okay so for that reason this thing should work I think so and let me go ahead and in the custom style or in the theme one I'll have where is the theme one theme one theme one okay here it is so as you can see here custom style equals to theme one style and set style equals to set theme one style I'm passing this particular uh, this thing for uh, like a particular theme so and this theme one so it's way more specific to one particular theme so for the, we can make it generic but there, there will be a bit more work but right now I have preferred this one okay so if I go and check the component theme one is not defined yes it's because I haven't imported it and this should work theme one okay let's check it radio is not defined option is not defined input is not defined okay so customization I'll pick the whole thing and theme one const option equal to not radio select this should work now and I think it's rebuilding but it's done okay but also let me show the theme one style in the parent so if I am in the parent and I don't want to see this thing I want to see JSON dot stringify theme one style so uh, so we get the idea what exactly we are looking at so it's an empty object theme one okay so hello so top text is going to be hello if this thing doesn't 
look right let me put it in a div style color white font size 20 okay this should look okay at this point okay so theme top text is going to be hello world we can do whatever we want and bottom text hello hello size is going to be medium so this is there's an issue with the size so if I go to custom theme one and instead of excess uh, in red I'll put in excess small medium XL so this will make more sense to this and it should work so the thing is that it's better that I'm it's better if you don't uh, like write down code along with this it's better that you understand the logic behind this and then try to do it on your own because this is the issue which I have faced as well a lot of times that what I do is when I am watching a tutorial I go with the code and I just copy and paste everything that I see like not copy and paste but I type it, everything and then I feel that I pretty much know everything and the issue is that after a month or so if I go back to my thing I don't know anything about the thing what I have done before so for that reason the good thing is that take the idea what what is going to be happening in this situation and then try to work on it so that way you can get a better picture and trust me more the problems you will have the better understanding of the things uh, you will get so that for that reason keep like keep doing it on your own and if you are stuck we are always there for you so ask us if you want but yeah cowboy medium this is okay this is changing now medium excel color okay all right so this is working good so this is what i was talking to you about that if i change something on the background of this particular theme one the parent is going to change in this way and then what happens is in the parent we have a submit button so anytime if i select a theme and if i have selected these options so what will happen is that if I submit the submission will take this image the image of the picture with the edited uh, edited things which you will see on the screen as well as the like the properties like background we don't necessarily need background here because we will just need a image but sometime if you are having a big company and the orders are different for that reason you might need background color and also the size is important and also there will be a order for like for whom this particular order is so you will see those things in the future and I'll, I'll show you in just a like in a couple of videos but yeah this is a concept of one particular theme so stay tuned and I'll see you in the next video bye bye